Hey guys, I'm out here again today and I'm going to be boiling a squirrel skull because I'm looking to preserve it and boiling it to get all the flesh and whatnot out is the first step. I shot the squirrel in Squirrel Hunting Episode 1 and I saved the head and I got as much skin off as I could and I've been keeping it in a cup of water to try to soften everything up because I didn't want to leave it out and let it get dry. I haven't checked on that in like a month and a half maybe. So this is going to be really nasty. Well, let's go check it out. Okay, so this looks nasty and I'm a little, a, a little uneasy because it looks like there's a mouse poop in there and I don't know how there's a mouse poop if the mouse didn't get in there. So I'm going to dump this out way far away from the house and just see what's in there because I don't know. Okay. <coughs> oh god. Okay, I'm going to scoop. <coughs> oh god. I'm going to scoop it back up with this. <coughs> okay, I'm going to... I'm gonna hold this away from me. Look at these flies just all over this cup. Oh my god, okay. Let's go. Okay, so I don't have much daylight left, so I gotta work kinda quick. So this is what I got here. I got the pan, I got my portable stove, and I have this uh, solar charger. I bought it from my phone for when I go on a trip in like a month or so um, but I'm gonna test it out today and it worked a little bit better earlier when it was brighter out obviously but it's built up a pretty good charge over the course of the last few hours I'd say and I got my gun over there just in case anything comes through here Okay, there should be plenty. I mean, there's probably like three, three and a half inches of water in there. That's more than enough to submerge the skull. Okay, so the very first thing I gotta do is I gotta collect a lot of dead sticks because I gotta stoke this fire up so it burns for a while. And I don't have to stoke it all up at once. I'm gonna be here for a little bit, but pretty soon I'm gonna leave it and I'm gonna go get some dinner and then come back down and check on it. So I want to make sure I have enough to stock up when that happens. Okay, I think this is pretty good. Um, plus I have some more over there already. So this should probably be good to start the fire and then keep it going. It should boil for about 45 minutes or so. And the thing to be careful about is that it shouldn't be a boil, like a raging boil. It should just be like a low simmer. So it's going to be kind of tough to regulate out here, but hopefully the pan or the stove is small enough where the coals don't boil this huge pot you know i mean even if it's just like 175 200 degrees like that's still kind of doing the job but the problem is if you boil the water then the jaw bones won't stay intact and it's just going to fall apart and i kind of want to keep it all intact so i'm going to try i'm going to try to do it slowly we'll see to start this fire, I'm actually going to be using some of the char cloth that I made in, well, my only char cloth video. <laughs> I'm only going to use one piece. It's really all that it takes. So the idea is to light the char cloth and then hold the stick like this and blow it so that it lights this on fire, the paper towel I got here. And then this is really, really thin. I got this, I don't know what plant this is, but I got it from the edge of the pond and it's all hollow on the inside. So it's, and it's dry too, so it should catch really fast.
You can see how fast the char cloth catches. Oh, there we go. And now hopefully the rest of this lights. really going now it's starting to smoke out the top there okay I just broke off the bottom and this is now burning on its own beautiful this is starting that fire pretty good oh oh god oh god oh god that wasn't good. I need to hold this. Okay, I'll check back in after this burns down more. Okay, this is just starting to dwindle down now. Whoops. I kind of set the table on fire. And I almost set my leg on fire. That's, that's roaring right now. See all the black soot scraping up the side. Ugh. Can see it's still burning. I will admit the one thing that kind of stinks about this cooker is that you gotta load wood in and you can't really do it if there's something on top unless you do this. Okay, so I just realized my cooker is not really gonna work that well when the vent holes are not at the bottom. So that was dumb. Okay, I'm gonna fix that. Okay, that's how it should look. Maybe a little bit more centered. But that's how it should look. <laughs> oh man. It's a good thing I noticed that, because if I left and I didn't notice that, this thing would not have worked. Okay, so as you can see, there's still some rubbish in there, but the water is just about starting to boil. You're getting those little bubbles all around the bottom. Okay, the water's actually starting to steam now, so it's probably getting to a point where I can put the head in. So let's just grab it here. Uh. Okay, we're just gonna let that just simmer. Okay, so I have a nice little stack here of some dead sticks and whatnot. This one's pretty alive. I'm just gonna get rid of that. Didn't even make it to the pond, oh man. So I'm just gonna throw this into the wood stove and then head up and have some dinner. So that should go for a very long time. Um, I'm gonna head back up right now and just leave all this stuff here. I'm just gonna grab some dinner. When I come back, I'm gonna take that off and hopefully it, it at least simmered, like, you know, very, very light boil for a little while. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> okay, well, I'll see you guys soon. Okay, so I just had a delicious dinner of some baked haddock. And now I'm going to head back down and check on the squirrel skull. Hopefully by this point a lot of the flesh is kind of 
boiled off. Um, but we'll see. I don't know. Okay, I'm glad I can't smell because I bet this smells rancid. It's still kind of steaming a little. Let's check on the fire. Yeah, there's not really much for coals left in there. Okay, well, I guess I'm done. So... We'll try to see what we can do with this. So I wish I got this on camera, but I didn't even think to. I just tapped the squirrel skull with this stick and all the meat that was on it just fell right off. I'm pretty sure that this is what we're looking at right now. It is just that for a squirrel skull. Hold on, I'm gonna try to take it out here. Okay, here we go. Look at that, that is really well cleaned out. Oh, I'm just gonna dump this. Should I dump it in the water? Like, would the fish like this? I'd, uh, you know what? I'll dump it right here on the edge so that it'll eventually run in, but I'll feel better knowing I didn't pour it straight in. Uh, so let's just... Uh, okay, I gotta wash this crap out. Uh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I dropped it. Okay, so while I'm waiting for the portable stove to cool down, let's just take a look at this here. Let's see how easy this is to get off. Uh. A lot of the brain is still in there, and I'm not really sure how to get that out. Uh, who would have known I can almost, I can quite literally just shake out the brain. It actually all just came right out. And now, I don't know if you can see, but it's pretty hollow on the inside there. So I'm just going to run it under the water and try to get whatever's in there out. There shouldn't be much left, but let's see. Okay, and that's how you clean a squirrel skull. We got it here. And on the inside, there is just nothing left. I don't know, you can probably see pretty good in there. That goes all the way up to the nasal cavity. Now, when I bring this back inside, I'm gonna bleach it, uh, just to make it really white. But I'm not gonna show that or anything. I mean, it's pretty easy. You just put it in a cup of bleach. But I'll definitely post the pictures on my Twitter and my Instagram when it's completely done. So be sure to follow me. I'll link those in the description below. Okay guys, well this is a bigger success than I thought it was going to be. I uh, hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Before I even check him out, one of his feathers just fell right there. Here we go. Absolutely down. <laughs>